Asma bint Ummais, radiallahu anha, may Allah be pleased with her, was one of the earliest converts to Islam. She was married to Jafar bin Abi Talib, radiallahu an, and when he was martyred in battle of Muta, she married Abu Bakr, radiallahu an. After his death, she married Abdur Rahman bin Auf, radiallahu an, and after his death, she married Ali bin Abi Talib, radiallahu an. When Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went for Hajj, Asma was so keen about performing Hajj that she didn't bother being in her final trimester of pregnancy. She was a woman with strong opinions. It was narrated from Abu Bakr that he went out for Hajj with the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Asma bint Umayyiz was with him. She gave birth to Muhammad bin Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr came to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and told him about that. And the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, told him to tell her to take a bath, then begin the talbiyah for Hajj, and to do everything that the people did, apart from tawaf. It was narrated that Asma bint Umayz said, The Messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, taught me some words to say at times of distress. Allah, Allahu Rabbi, la ushriku bihi shay'an. Allah, Allah is my Lord. I don't associate anything with Him. Lessons learned from her story. I learned that if you set your mind to something, nothing can stop you. Hajj isn't a piece of cake, even in this age, when we can travel on automobiles, and it's hard, even when you're not pregnant. So, for a woman to go through labor and deliver during Hajj, and then get up to complete it, saying, Here I am, my Lord, here I am, is an achievement on its own. As mothers, we often feel like we can't even pray around kids, and it's amazing how there were women doing Hajj during labor. What did you learn from this short story?